See, now you're wondering, what the, what's he up to now? <laughs> <laughs> right, so links below for what I've got. <laughs> replacing something you might not be happy about it but it's replacing something that's been it's replacing something that's been here for probably 40 years but i've had enough modern technology Whoa. what's it replacing then well i'll tell you what it's replacing this <laughs> yes this has been here for years and it is a little bit sentimental but Time's moving on, and to be quite honest, it's a bit, when it gets wet, which it is there now, I, and I shouldn't be, it's, it gets all like yucky, yucky, and I, I'm not gonna sand it down and rot and all that nonsense. I'm replacing it with a modern plastic one. <gasps> oh, never, I am. Modern plastic, but there's a, there's a little good reason for it. But what I wanna do is keep the wood as well, but this has got to go. I'll tell you why it's it's kind of sentimental because we've had this allotment well I got it when we moved out so we've had this probably around about 17 to 20 years there now more probably on the 20 side because my daughter's 22 I think and we got it when when we first moved here and this chair has been here now on the history of this allotment as well everyone said the old boys the old boys that used to kind of be here and they're all long gone there now three of them used to sit here sunday mornings and just spend the whole day sitting on here and letting the veg letting the gardens just grow and i like that but like i say there's a lot of times now because i just live you know i don't live that far away and i don't go into the hut actually to sit down and to have a cup of tea i like to just sit here do you know what i mean and if it's raining well i'll just go home so I need to get rid of this plus the plastic seat it's got storage in as well because there is a reason why I'm going for plastic in the long run of things and I'll tell you what that is so a little bit of an update on the polytunnel I've got to be careful I don't stand on my sweet corn there is this this whole land where the polytunnel is I want to do 14 foot wide everyone says you know I regret if I didn't do it so Basically, it's kind of coming to the edge of here. This whole plot will be designated for the polytunnel. This is in the way and I wanted to move it. And lots of people, which was a great idea, mind you. Lots of people said, do you really need it, Tony? You know, because two huts on a polytunnel. So it got to thinking. And what I might do is basically just use one hut, but that's still like a nice hut if it does, if I get caught in the rain, and I don't want to be kind of too covered with tools and everything. So I'm going to do, first, well, I'm going to try. I'm going to take this down and try and live without a second hut. I'm going to have the, the seat there, which we'll put up together now. I'm going to have the seat there and I'll have some storage in that seat, which I can use for like, say, screws and, and bits and pieces like that then everything else will go in that hut if that doesn't work i'm still not going to get the box i'm still not going to put sorry to put the hood up i'm going to go for one of them plastic boxes you know like the storage boxes and probably put that down at the front of the garden near the the waste you know near the compost bins that's the that's the idea up now so this hut will be going and i'm hedging my bets a little well no i won't once i think once i pull it down that's it, it's gone. I've had enough of it, it's gone. For the time being, I'm just gonna take it and put that bench, I think, round that corner. Because the idea is, I wanna use this wood, I wanna make some shelves to go in there to put some shelving units up. So, like I said, and you know, it's, it's all green and I've got a bloody white top on. 
It's all in... Oh, oh man. Dear me. Better not get... So I'll get... Oh, what I get wrong? I mean, it is rotten when you get a look of it. He's dropping bits of bloody loose planks. I don't know where to take it to bits now. Let's dry out the wood. Watch me back, watch me bloody back. Whoa. There we go. Right, tidy that up. You know, and I've, I've said this before with the raised beds, one good thing is they're a great platform now to build. Once you have them, you can build on top of them. So this will be, and I'm gonna keep this cardboard I'm going to leave it out somewhere and hopefully it's going to rain loads more. It'll just, just mush down and it'll go in the compost as well. Then I might have to return it. <laughs> then I'm screwed. Let's see anyways. Oops. Squashed a few of me lettuces. I just need a knife. So I know this will be kind of modern and out of place, but it's got to be practical as well. I've got to use it and it's just sentimental reasons why I've kept that chair so long anyways. Out with sentimental, out it goes. Right, let's see what, you know, I built all this, watch, I kind of put this up, I'll need some help. I'm not good at actually following instructions. Oh, it looks beautiful, it looks. Mm, is it Ikea-ish? Right. What? I wonder if I should build it up there. You know what wasn't, and that uh, looks like there's not. It looks like there's not a cover, like a, you know, like a, sp a sponge seat. <laughs> There you go. I think that's it. Let's get it over there. Watch out, coming through. There we go. 
I'll balance it up a little bit, but it was actually surprisingly quite easy to put it together. The only thing I wish I'd just brought me a little electric screwdriver, that would have kind of, just the screws in the back seem to take forever, you know, and it kind of hurts your wrist, but yeah, no, there's no problem to put up in it. It feels sturdy, and again, it's for a little bit of storage in here. Come on, I'll, have, I'll show you, let's have a look. Let's see if the, the thing, let's see if it opens. There you go. And I'm not expecting it to be kind of 100% waterproof, but it's just, it's a nice big container just to put the likes of, say, screwdrivers and, and, and screws and nails and little things like that, you know? I could do with a, like a cushion for the summer, but to be honest, it's all right. It's all right, you know? Right, look after yourselves, take good care. Tell you how I'm feeling Come along Let's take this walk together